Take a minute to settle into your space, to settle into your posture, to feel together in a cyber gompa, connected to each other. And as you settle into your posture, feel very grounded, unhurried, no pressure. And now shift from the body to the breath. Just basic breath awareness. Not choosing any favorite thoughts, not discarding any troubling thoughts, simply not worrying about the thoughts at all. Keeping a calm and attentive resting of your focus right on the breath.
If you've lost your focus, just gently come back to the breath without tightness or squeezing, without slackness or sleep. Allow the mind to balance. As you watch your breath, try not to anticipate the next moment or the next breath. Try not to reminisce about the previous breath or the previous moment. Try to allow the breath to keep you as present as you can be. Choosing focus over distraction.
And now that the mind has its surface distractions settled, set a very strong altruistic motivation. And think I'm doing this meditation, prayer, visualization, in order to connect to my Buddha nature, to develop my Buddha nature. And in particular, may I be receptive to the blessings and realizations of the path transmitted through the 17 Nalanda Masters. And so visualize the 17 Nalanda Masters in the space in front of you or as a tower above the crown of your head. With a strong sense of them being here in actuality, as the prayer is recited, feel a deep connection with each one. Golden light flows from their heart center, curves in an arc to the crown of your head, flows down and through you, blessing your body, speech, and mind, connecting you to the lineage. So 
And so feel that all seventeen Nalanda Masters dissolve into light and absorb into you. And dedicate all the energy of this practice to achieving your fullest potential for the benefit of all sentient beings. Okay, so see you Monday. Happy practicing. <laughs>